So I figure it's about time that I actually play, like, you know, a legitimate, like, Team Fortress map. And what I mean by legitimate Team Fortress map, well, I mean, you know, class-based team gameplay, not just random, you know, kill everything in sight while, you know, the world's falling apart because, you know, the maps are too small. I know that's a weird way to describe that, but, you know. Uh, this is Michael Wire. Well, technically, this is supposed to be a Capture the Flag trainer by Dragon. I assume that's a clan tag. Trainer. Practice fighting from catwalks and using walls to your advantage and then some other stuff. Uh, but see, the thing is, you know, it is a small map, sure, but I, I feel like having played a little bit of it, that it's actually just a completely legit kind of mini capture the flag map. Like, obviously, there's not much, like, certain classes, well, obviously, I gotta point that out, that, you know, that's, he didn't align the textures properly there, but I think I'll forgive him for that. Did he do this one? Not particularly. Well, you know, the, the arrest, um, I, I swear that the, yeah, what? I, I didn't know this, notice this until now, but yeah, this is the only properly made ladder in the map. Um, which is funny, because I was about to say, aesthetically, I like this map a lot. Everything else about it looks very nice. Like, you know, it's got this, like, you know, that steel kind of futuristic look, something like out of Unreal, like Tournament or something like that, or even Quake 3. I love this look, but yeah, dang. Dude didn't know how to, like, you know, make it proper ladders. But anyway, that's not important. What I was about to say is that, you know, despite its small size and certain classes being at a disadvantage, like, you know, there isn't much use for, like, you know, the... I feel the spy or, like, you know, the engineer in this map. You can't really build... I guess you could build, like, a teleport in here if you got lucky. Assuming that the other team doesn't get up here and destroy it immediately or just throw a grenade up there or something. But yeah, you know, it is, I think, a completely valid, you know, map, like, outside of just being a trainer. I will say this, I'm going to show this instead of, like, you know, show, don't tell. I'm going to be red for a second. Something I don't like, and this is actually not exclusive to this map. When you have this, just be water. This is actually not, like you said, I've, well, the, like, the official map, well... Does that too, where yeah, it looks like that's gonna kill you, and you can swim in it just fine. And like in Wells' case, that's like almost like, probably like 30% of the flow of that map is swimming through. Like, you know, this is like toxic here. So why would you make it look like it's gonna kill you? It's goofy. It's just silly. It's completely just unjustifiable in my opinion. But anyway, that's, that's very minor. So yeah, as you can see though, like when I say it's small, it really is small. If I don't screw up this conk jump in a second, which I probably will because I gotta use my mouse in a very interesting way. I'm still having mouse pad problems. Like, watch this. Well, that was terrible, but what you say, I'm getting the point is that with a well-timed conk jump or something, and like not being terrible at the game, you could have jumped across the whole map. So this lends it to some very furious gameplay. And of course, being the dork I am, we're gonna have to play eight people. I mean, 32 like people total. So you know, I'll show you what that's like. Anyway, let's get our friends in here. This is gonna be very loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that team build up. There we go. I'm red for once. It actually auto assigned me to red. I am absolutely amazed. I can't believe it. So yeah, this is kind of like in 2-Fort. If you've ever played 2-Fort, you know, a lot of like, you know, the big team, like, you know, offensive team members, like your heavy weapons guy and stuff like that. Well, what? I was actually about to say, why would you build your sentry here? Then I remembered, the flag's right up there, you know? But see, everyone's too focused about going down here. I would imagine that's because the bots aren't that good. See, you're not paying attention. I could bring the pain. Look at- I don't even need the comp jump. What are you doing? Oh goodness! Oh god! And then I realized that the spawn jump is- Well, that, that's no good. Tele getting telefranked by party members is never a good time. Party members, what am I talking about? Ah, now they're wise enough. Now they got it. And see, the thing is, if you do it just right, you can actually... Um... You can actually, like, fall right into the flag, because there's a hole on top of each base. So, like, there's a lot of, like, little ways to sneak in there, actually. You know, apparently, this, um... The, like, the sound that's made when, like, you capture a flag or win or something, 
Apparently that sample from Star Wars. Like it's a like it just a, a chord from the orchestra, but I've never found out what like what it actually is. Like I've never actually been able to figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna affect you guys. Yeah, that's why I love playing medic. I'm just like assuming their medics don't react. I'm gonna make them all sick. What? Where'd that grenade come from? Had to restart because I accidentally assigned it to be 30 minutes instead of 15. I don't want to play for that long. Long, I got other things to do. I'm a busy guy. That probably that also means so that my sick capture has been erased out of history. That'll never happen again. And twice now I've been assigned to red. I can't believe it. Well, that that defied all laws of physics. Let's go, my friend. We got this. Where are you going? That's not. All right. So yeah, this is the hole I was talking about earlier. See, and it's helpful because I can hide up here and wait for the perfect time. At least in theory, until I get like bamboozled by enemy bullets. But still, the the opportunity is there. The potential awaits. Yeah. Oh, I did. Uh, that was sort of cool. Like you know, I almost had that. Oh well. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna heal you. Yeah, let's go. Oh, what? what? I thought he was gonna jump down. I guess that's a little too much the fate to put in the box, but come on now. That would have been a sick strategy. Or not, because we would have just landed right into enemy fire, but still. It would be different at least. Maybe it confused him psychologically. Where is it? I have the flag! I, didn't, I swear I didn't see it there. It was invincible for a few seconds. I, like, I don't know if it... Eh, I guess I'm just going blind. Take it! Take it! We gotta rush it! Go! Grenade him! Okay, go! Ah! You just gotta keep it alive. That's the str That's the heart and soul of this game. Like, this is what I, lo I love about Team Fortress Classic right here. And I guess Team Fortress 2. When, like, you know, the one flag's active, you're trying so desperately like to get the enemy flag it's just sitting in the middle of the base and you so desperately want to keep it alive because as long as like you know you touch it within a minute or so it'll stay there they can't make it go away so it's just like this mad scramble this crazy mentality i gotta grab it my whole existence depends on me touching this flag here get it oh see now i've reset it the time it's gonna take longer for it to go back i love it the struggle is beautiful, is all I can say. Get it! Go! Go! Yes! For glory! I did it again! I did it! I'm the best! I am a real American hero, except I'm not because I'm Canadian, but still. Oh! Go! Just brave, courageous, rush right in there. All right. Yeah, let's go, Pyro. Let's go. We got this. I believe in you. You, you can do it. We're gonna get that flag. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah, you failed me. I'm never trusting you ever again. You know, engineers, why don't you build your sentries up here? Because then you know the enemy team like is gonna get shot at the moment they try to go down, even from up here. I don't get these bots sometimes. But then again, they're bots. It's not like their pathfinding of like, you know, decision to make it abilities are gonna be the best. Yes! Oh, beautiful! That was textbook! Oh! I'm never doing that again! Goodness me! I want to take out that dispenser. Get it! Oh, too far! Oh, well, I killed a bunch of other people. Go! Oh, I was getting my butthole pe peppered with bullets there. Did you see that? I guess that's one criticism I have about this map is that, you know... Any grenade that goes in the spawn point is just going to devastate the whole enemy team. Like, we're all confused right now. I did it again! Maybe I'm better at comp jumping than I think I've given myself credit for. Probably not, but oh well. You just don't- guys just don't have the same motivation I do. The same urge in my life, the itch, to get this flag. It's just not there. You're all about violence. I'm about progress. 
goofy, goofy kids here. Goodness. Yeah, you got it. I'm helping you again. You failed me again. Again, you have failed me. Infection. Oh, well. Oh, damn. Snipers. Did you see that? I just got blown out. No. no ah! I, oh, you see, that's the thing. I totally, like, was trying my hardest to not let that spy backstab me, and that's exactly what happened. My luck. My friggin' luck. Actually, I think a team full of snipers would be really effective here. Like, it's kind of a hard counter, because, like, how are you gonna deal with that? Like, no matter what you do, like, a sniper's just standing here, 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 like, every possible place. How are you gonna deal with that? That's just insane. What? Who? Did someone throw a grenade up here or something? What was that? Or maybe it was a ghost. I don't know. What? God! Uh, why don't I just do this? Ha! I am a jerk. Oh, you mad about it? I killed your dispenser? I would be too. Yeah, no, that is absolute quality. If you want a really small, intense map with some actual strategy and eldritch ladders, by all means, microwire. Check it out.